Delio. He's the managing director of the High Lantern Group and focuses on global health policy. Uh, Mario, thanks so much again for joining us. Are you surprised about this? And why is it so important if the WHO, these recordings show that officials from the health body were not happy with China's sharing of information? Yes, uh, hi and good evening. Uh, absolutely, the, the, the window in these cases, uh, it's really small. Uh, a delay of just a few days in releasing genetic sequences can be really critical in an outbreak. And so I guess that you know, gives you the sense of urgency. Um, it was really hectic time. Uh, my feeling reading the AP story today is that WHO tried to portray China in the best possible light, um, probably as a means to secure more information. Um, I think probably if the WHO had pushed even harder, uh, it could have compromised uh, some of you know, the follow-up missions to China, for instance. A few weeks ago, Xi Jinping uh, was speaking, saying that he accepted that there should be an independent investigation into both China's handling of the coronavirus pandemic, but also the origins of the virus itself. But he then said it shouldn't happen now. Surely it should happen now. Why would China be delaying? So um, uh, you may be referring to uh, a discussion happened in Geneva uh, earlier in the week of the 18th of May, where the WHO has uh, issued a resolution that actually is asking for this independent investigation. I think that is absolutely paramount and fundamental. I think. It is really fundamental to learn uh, the lessons, understand what, what WHO got right, what WHO did not get right, and improve for the next time. I mean, if you see the story, the history so far, starting from the SARS and to the avian flu, and then you know even the Ebola, I, th I mean, I have seen kind of better and better kind of international response. This time, of course, eh, you know, the pandemic, it's particularly uh, challenging also for, because of the nature of the virus. But probably why it is important to kind of focus now, well, there are still 6 million cases in the world. We are starting to see the impact in developing countries. Uh, there, we don't have the health systems that we have in some of the countries, like in, in Italy, in the US, uh, in Europe. And it's really critical to give the time to WHO kind of complete their mission or actually carry out their mission. Mario Otilio, thank you so much. We appreciate it, as always. Take care.